Wow, we've made it. Gorilla Tag Theory 5. We went through the craziest things to get here, and now it's over. I can finally share Gorilla Tag's lore timeline based off all my theories that I've constructed thus far. I know this episode took a while to come out, and I stalled it for a while, but now I can confirm that we are at the end. Enough stalling. Subscribe, join the Discord, and let's get into the final theory, a timeline of Ad Infinitum. Warning. This is what I collected and theorized about to form the timeline. You can agree or disagree with me. Without further ado, let's start at the beginning. To start, I want to say that this will be separated into multiple parts, and at the end I will explain some things that may be a bit confusing. Part 1. Dimensional Beginnings This first part of the timeline talks about my first, second, and third theory. My first theory was about how real-world events, such as Pangea, affect gorilla tags. My second stated that a portal would open up every four weeks to bring things to the game from the future and the past. My third theory was about how scientists were able to test on these gorillas and see how they live in these environments. To begin the timeline, it starts with the formation of a group of gorillas who want to learn more about their species. They form different roles throughout their world and come to study and explore the gorilla world. Then, these scientists discover the Time Rift portal. Once it opens up, it gives them technology which allow gorillas to spawn into the game and travel from room to room. It also brings in abundance of hats and cosmetics. As the scientists continue to study and test the gorillas, some start to act strange. They start to be sentient enough to understand that they are being watched and tested on. These are called ghosts. They have powers that give them advantages and strength over all the other gorillas. They can kick and ban people from the game possibly protecting them from the dangers of the scientists. In order to stop these monstrosities, they send out groups of gorillas with a special item, the stick, in order to blend in and ban these ghosts from the game. Along with that, four different maps have been formed throughout the world. Part 2. Ruckus from the Rift The next part of this timeline takes place months after the formation of the first four maps. Forest, canyons, city, and caves. During this time, the Rift opened for a second and brought event-themed cosmetics. These were the Halloween cosmetics, and it was how the scientists discovered the rift. It was spontaneous. They were unsure when it would open again after it closed. Soon, they discovered its slow schedule and made it seem like the game was having an event. Sometimes, the rift would bring decorations as well. After the rift opened and closed a few times, they wanted to test a new environment for the gorillas, mountains. Also, opening the rift again. It soon kept repeating this process for a while. Overall, not too much information during this time. Then, during Christmas of 2022, a new map formed, Clouds. Many of these maps would be revamped months later, but that is farther in the future. Part 3. Year of Reconstruction and War The first map to be revamped during this time was Mountains. The scientists decided to change the layout slightly and add a giant fan. This was one of the many revamps that occurred during this time. But in 2023, the rift opened and brought a set of peculiar cosmetics. These were inspired by Dungeons & Dragons. There were wizard cloaks, barbarian armor, goblin faces, and suits of armor. This led me to believe that there was a giant war taking place from a different dimension. These clans and groups were battling it out for something, most likely land. This also brought the basement map, which spawned weird creatures called Monk Eyes. This rift would bring more cosmetics from this era until 2024, but that is far away. After the rift closed, it brought very simple cosmetics related to spring cleaning, but the rift would open once more just in time for the scientists to test out new features that would change the game, ropes and zip lines. Canyons would receive a revamp bringing new cosmetics. Some gorillas would take up the job as minor monkeys. They would construct new maps and features to work along the scientists, without knowing too much of what they were doing behind the scenes. But they were not the reason for why canyons received a revamp. Something went wrong and either a ghost or gorilla went rogue and used lots of explosives to blow up canyons. Yes, there is evidence for that and it will be explained at the end. Then, they left carbons for the next possible map, Beach. The scientists got the minor monkeys to dig out Secret Tunnel, which used to be an April Fool's joke, after it was overflowed with sand and water. This would create the Beach map, which would bring back the zip lines and ropes and added the water feature, another feature that would change Gorilla Tag forever. But, one incident led to another. The large block of ice in caves collapsed, leaving behind nothing except a blocked off pathway. Then, in August, the miners' monkeys reopened caves with new crystals and water. Everyone grabbed their mining gear and explored new caves for the first time, also known as Crystal Caverns. The final extreme thing that happened in 2023 was the discovery of the volcano, a large mountain that, when activated in forest, would spew out lava and cover the whole forest in a fire, creating the Floor's Lava minigame. It would come and go and has only been in the game twice since it's released. The rift would open for all these events and decorations would also spawn from the rift. Part 4. All that glitters isn't gold. Now, we are nearing the end and the present. 
To start off 2024, the scientist monkeys were surprised to discover that many of their tools and instruments were spawned from the rift, thus allowing the gorillas to blend in with the scientists. But it also opened a new area, Rotating Map. This map would change every six weeks and would be something from a new map to an old map. Then, in February, the volcano reappeared and stayed for that month. Then, disaster struck in April. Clouds was devastated by a tornado, causing everything to fall and causing a giant mess down in the city. Luckily, only two weeks after the incident, the minor monkeys fixed clouds and used the destruction to their advantage. You would be able to glide and soar across the sky with leaf gliders using the wind from the stable tornado. Then, in May, the Rift decided to change up things and bring the rest of the stuff from the mainings of the Gorilla War. These items would be linked to more Dungeons and Dragon characters, such as samurai, dragons, and fairies, which were the only remaining groups of the war after the rest were sucked into the Rift. This would most likely be the last time the Rift would bring these sort of items to the game. Then, a surprise map was put into the game, Metropolis, a city based off Manhattan in New York. This is the unconfirmed last map in the game. The Rift also brought lots of items for this map. Let's end it quickly. The scientists wanted to put a stop to these ghosts. Deep in original caves, a lab was created to stop the ghosts once and for all. The reactor has not been activated yet and we are unsure when it will be. The scientists have something big up their sleeves. Part 5, Explanations of Confusing Topics and the End of Season 1 Before I talk about the future of Gorilla Tag Theory, I would like to go over some important things that may have been confusing for some of you guys. First, I suspect someone blew up Canyon because the layout was changed. Also, some areas look unnatural and manipulated. Next, I know I missed lots of cosmetics that were spawned from the rift, but these did not really provide any information to the lore and were just there when the rift opened. Now, the end. We have finally solved the ever-expanding timeline of Gorilla Tag. What does Ad Infinitum mean though? Ad Infinitum is the term to describe forever, never ending. The lore of Gorilla Tag will expand until the game is dead, and I'm 100% sure it's far from that. If you made it this far, thank you so much for listening to my crazy theories. Now, this may seem like the end, but I promise you, it's only the beginning. Expect the first episode of Gorilla Tag Theory Season 2 very soon. See you in the next one. That's just a theory. A Gorilla Tag Theory. Thanks for watching. But hey, that's just a theory. A Gorilla Tag Theory. Thanks for watching, and subscribe.